Welcome back now to a video that has a lot of people talking this morning. It all started when Hawaii County hosted a virtual public meeting this week about the controversial decision to close the popular Waipio Valley Road to visitors because of hazardous conditions after a report found steep terrain there is creating a risk for landslides. It was a pretty standard meeting with a lot of residents signing up to speak. That is until this happened. Alex Stein started spinning his tale of how the bad road ruined his honeymoon. First, he said he got hit by a rock, then got a DUI, all ending with a philandering tow truck driver. While I was in jail, my wife, not knowing anybody, trying to call a bail bonds and trying to get me out of jail, somehow the tow truck driver takes her back to my hotel, ends up having an affair. She ends up ends up ruining our whole uh, marriage. Now her and I are going through a total uh, legal battle that I, I could Alex, this, lose this, this meeting is specific to the road. Yeah, this is why, bad. because you, yeah, because your, your bad roads is the reason why I got hit. You guys should be ashamed of yourself. You guys are a bunch of dumb Hawaiians. Don't even know how to fix the road. You guys are all a bunch of idiots. You guys don't even know how to fix the road. You got people hitting it. And now you're driving down the road. You got to close it because you guys are all a bunch of imbeciles. You don't even know how to drive down the street. And then after him will be Brandon. Yeah, well, it turns out, as you could kind of tell there, Alex Stein is a self-proclaimed professional troll. He actually crashes public meetings across the country. It caught the meeting's moderator, Hawaii County Public Information Officer Cyrus Johnson, off guard. He actually eventually had to mute Stein and kick him off. Johnson says he took it all in stride, though, and says, if anything, it actually brought residents in the community together who were divided about that road closure. I don't want to give him any more clout uh, because, you know, he is a nuisance and, and certainly... Um, disrupted our meeting. But I will say this, he really brought the meeting together because we're a bunch of local people that care about YPO Valley and his actions and the way he, he came off um, really just made us realize that regardless of our differences or opinions on this particular road closure, that we're really an ohana and now Jonathan says he's been getting a lot of messages after that video went viral, but all jokes aside, it could be a while while that road is closed and engineers are working on longer term fixes, but he says he appreciates all the passion in the community for trying to fix the problem.